Hey everybody. So something that came up a few times during um, the, our live stream last night that I just want to do a video on and make my opinion clear to all on is that Alex Ovechkin is skipping the NHL All-Star game. He's already told the league that he's not going and uh, he's going to take the one game suspension which comes with that and he's, he's just going to, he'd rather take the weekend to rest than to go in the, <laughs> play in the All-Star game. And a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what's my opinion on Ovechkin not going and skipping it? And my answer is and always has been that um, it, it totally depends on the situation. But in Alex Ovechkin's case, I do not blame him at all. Listen, if you're a first-time All-Star or somebody who, who doesn't, isn't a perennial All-Star and may only get a, one or two chances to go to the All-Star game in your career, then you absolutely go to the All-Star game. It's, if, that's your, if it's your first time, you absolutely go. If you may only get to do this once or twice, then you absolutely go. Enjoy the experience. Have a great time. You know, make the most of it and, and get to experience that as an NHL player. But if you're Alex Ovechkin, who goes to literally every All-Star game, every, year in and year out, I, how many has he been to in his career? Like 10, 12 All-Star games maybe? I don't know the number off the top of my head. But Ovechkin is an All-Star basically every single year. You'd think it would get old after a while. And, and especially with Ovechkin this year, look at the amount of hockey that he's played. All of last season, then you had a deep playoff run all the way through the Stanley Cup final. You win the Stanley Cup. Now you have another full season to play this year. And hopefully, you're at least hoping for another long, deep playoff run. That is a lot of hockey in a two-year span. And at Ovechkin's age, where he's, what, 33 now? He's been to a million All-Star games before. It... it it makes more sense for him to rest up and take the weekend off than to fly all the way across the country from D.C. to San Jose, do the skills competition, play in a three-on-three -three pond hockey tournament, which is basically what the All-Star game is now. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's pond hockey. It's just up and down the ice, scoring chances, a lot of fancy, flashy moves. Um, that that's that's just what it is. So he would have to fly completely across the country, do two days of hockey, additional days of hockey with the skills competition in the All Star game, then fly back to Washington all the way across the country. And the, and the All Star break lines up with Washington's bye week. So rather than doing all of that and then cutting into your bye week and you know missing out on tr on a chance to re recover and relax. And, and you know have some off time during the season he, he would have to do that now what he's doing is he's just taking the all-star weekend off then they have you know lines right up with their bye week so he has an additional week off and he's making it just a long stretch of time that he gets to just relax and re his body gets to recover and he gets to basically reach fresh and recharge in the middle of the season then um, he, he obviously, you know, I'll talk about this. He has the one game suspension for skipping the all-star game. Um, so that's going to give him an extra day off one last game that he has to play. It's good for him at his age to get this rest in the middle of the season and recharge and get ready for the second half. And then hopefully for the, the Capitals playoff time and hopefully a deep playoff run if you're for, the, if, you know, for the Capitals. So um, this it just it makes a lot of sense to me why he wouldn't want to do this. If the All Star Game was in Washington, of course he would do it. If if but I think the fact that he would have to travel all the way across the country, play in you know two things, the skills competition and the All Star Game, then travel all the way back across the country, it just it interferes with his time off. And he'd at this point in his career, he'd rather get the time off and, and the chance to relax and recuperate. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, the one game suspension, I had a lot of people asking me about that. Some people didn't even know that this existed. Yes, if you skip the All-Star game and aren't injured, and you skip it just willingly, don't want to go, you get suspended for one game. And I'll, some people like it, some people don't. 
I get where the league is coming from with it, though, because if you allow the players to just skip it with no repercussions and just say, you know, you don't have to come if you don't want to, you would see a lot of players skipping the All-Star game. And the league doesn't want that because it wants its All-Star game to remain relevant. It wants it be- its best players there. It wants its truly top players at that event. And if you allowed the players to skip it with no punishment or anything, you'd see a lot of players skipping it and choosing what Ovechkin is choosing just to they'd rather have the weekend off. Just take the weekend off and to rest and relax and spend time with your family rather than travel you know, to wherever the game is that particular year, and and, and you know, go th- you know, go through all of those festivities. So, from a league standpoint, it does make sense that they have this rule because they want their best players there, and they know that if they let people skip, then a lot of people would take advantage of that and skip. So they do have the rule where it's a one-game suspension if you if you willingly skip the All-Star game. Not obviously if you're injured and can't play, then there's nothing, no repercussions there. You're out, just out injured. Um, so it makes sense from the league standpoint, although I'm sure the players probably don't like it that much. But honestly, it's one game. I'm sure Ovechkin, you know, he's skipping this to get more time off and have a chance for his body to recover. I'm sure he's perfectly happy with the extra one game off. It's, it's one game. It's not going to make a huge difference, especially for a first-place team like Washington. And it just gives him an extra day off, more time to, to get rested. Because the Capitals want Alex Ovechkin rested and ready to go for the playoffs. The regular season, list, they're going to be fine in the regular season pretty much no matter what. It's playoff time that counts, and they want... Alex Ovechkin in top-notch shape for the playoffs so they can hopefully go and win another Stanley Cup. They're not going to worry about one um, regular season game or the All-Star game or anything like that. So Ovechkin skipping the the All-Star game, I don't blame him at all for it. Um, I, I think it makes a lot of sense for him at his age and with the amount of hockey that he's played over the last year and hopefully going to be playing this year. Um, it makes it just makes a lot of sense for him to rather want to rather rest and recuperate and recover than play in an all-star game on the complete other side of the country in the middle of his bye week um, for, you know in San Jose it, it's just it makes sense so that's my opinion on Ovechkin skipping it uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support this channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.